Otro video para ti hoy este es Ron Coney de Inacomputers.com Muy rápido Let's cut to the chase Time Machine 10.13.5 17 f 77 And today <laughs> That was the original request I was like What the fuck are you talking about? And I asked a question Are you having problems with Time Machine backups? And I was correct so, there was multiple errors with this problem. This was a bit of a pain in the ass, a very stubborn external hard drive. Time Machine backups would fail. I could not erase the hard drive. I could not dismount the external hard drive. I received this error among other ones. Erasing Time Machine backups and creating Time Machine backups. Erase processes fail. Click done to continue unmounting disk. Erasing Wiping volume data to prevent future accidental probing failed. Operation failed. Apple is a failure. I mean, Microsoft is a failure. I mean, YouTube is a failure. I mean, Google is a failure. I mean, Malwarebytes is a failure. I mean, unless you consider all those corporations being narcissistic, corrupt, criminal, crooked, and some of them propagandists, then they have succeeded. So click on the link in the description box below that will take you to my blog post on my website anacomputers.com with all the written abstraction. I have detailed instructions on how you can potentially dismount the hard disk. So on Apple Macintosh operating systems, my experiences are if you cannot dismount the hard drive, then you're going to have major problems, especially if time machine backups are failing. You can't erase the disks. You can't even use first aid. First aid won't allow you to run scans. If you do not know what first aid is, you can find it in applications and then disk utility and then click on first aid. It, it's basically, I think it is technically an FSCK scan. It's similar to file system check on Linux and then on Windows I would say is similar to like a check disk or a system file check scan. Anyways, if you can't dismount the hard disk then a lot of times you run into problems trying to troubleshoot, trying to run scans, trying to fix the hard disk. So quickly, it's mostly command line. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to try to dismount the hard drive. However, in this instance, there were some processes running that had locked the hard disk. The external hard disk was locked. And so that's why I couldn't dismount it. Even using command line, you mount volumes, time machine backups, that didn't work. Disk, util, unmount, volumes, time machine backups, that didn't work. Then I did an ls, which that's technically a Unix Linux command ls li will list files ls volumes and then th there's another command lsof pipe grep volumes time machine backups that command searches for all processes running that has access to the hard drive so if you concluded and reduced and deduced that it is a process that ha that has locked the hard disk and that's why you can't dismount it you can't erase it you can't run first aid you can't run other scans well then you want to find out what the processes are and that's what an lsof command will tell you and then the grep command just specifically searches for all processes that have access to slash volumes and then slash time machine backups that's an example this is just a, this that's an example in your case it may be slash volume slash something else example or hard disk or hard drive or whatever now the, now you want to use the kill all one one now you can also use the graphical user interface movie rapido i gotta run i don't want to make these videos too long anymore you can use the kill all command in a terminal on apple or you can use the activity monitor activity monitor is to me the M macintosh version of the task manager micro crap micro slop wind blows it's a graphical user interface it'll list it in a graphical user interface for you and then you can just you know end the processes that way kill all and then whichever processes have access to the hard drive the 
external hard drive that you're trying to dismount. And then finally, once I killed all those processes that were accessing the external hard drive and had it locked, then I could run this command, disk util unmount slash volume slash time machine backups, and then I was able to dismount the external hard drive. Then finally, I went into disk utility via applications, clicked on first aid, and I kicked off a first aid scan and it kept running and it did find some problems and it fixed it. That saved the customer because you either run disk utility which will kick off like a FSC scan, a system check scan, or you erase the hard disk and then the then they have to kick off a brand new time machine backup and the first time you run a time machine backup it's I think you have to run a full I could be wrong but I think you have to kick off a full time machine backup the first time and then from there you can do incrementals hourly daily weekly whatever that can take a fucking long time and this saved the client they were able they still had their data in case they needed it and then also they can resume the automatic time machine backups that they had already configured so Apple Macintosh operating system is not perfect you run into a lot of problems with time machine now my experiences with time machine it's a pretty decent utility I, I will say that but now Apple is not perfect all kinds of problems in Apple land just like all kinds of computer problems in Microsoft land adios <laughs>